Did you know that YouTube has a secret weapon that can boost your views? It's called the test and compare feature and it's like having a crystal ball for your thumbnails. This feature allows you to test multiple thumbnails simultaneously for YouTube shows different versions to viewers and tracks which one performs better. They're talking about potentially increasing your click-through rates by 5%, 10% or even more. In fact, when you enter this video, you saw one of three thumbnails that we are testing. Yes, it's happening right now. So in this video, I'll show you everything that you need to know about the test and compare feature. We'll dive into how it works, how YouTube crowns the winning thumbnail, and I'll share some killer tips for creating thumbnails that will make viewers click faster than you can say subscribe. I'm Brian from Website Learners, and let's get started. So before YouTube introduced this feature, we had A-B testing for thumbnails where you could compare two options to see which one got more clicks. But thumbnail test and compare takes it further. Instead of tracking clicks, this tool focuses on something even more impactful, watch time, which is basically how long people actually stay watching your video. So based on which thumbnail got more clicks and more watch time, YouTube will decide the winner. This means you can choose a thumbnail that not only grabs attention, but also keeps viewers hooked, ultimately boosting your channel's growth. All right, but before we start testing our thumbnails, there's a quick check that you need to do to ensure that this feature is enabled or not. So to check it out, First, head over to YouTube Studio on your desktop. Now open the settings menu. Under the channel tab, you will find a section called Feature Eligibility. Now take a look at the advanced features. If it says Enabled, perfect. You're ready to go. But instead, if it just says Eligible, then you need to enable it by following some simple steps. You can do that by watching this video. All right. Once you have access to this feature, let's move forward and see how to use the thumbnail test and compare feature. Just a quick reminder, this feature is only available on the desktop version of YouTube Studio. So make sure you're on your computer. All right, first, let's go to YouTube Studio. Now to use the feature, first we need to upload our video. So click on the upload video button and click select file. Choose your video and hit open your video will start uploading automatically. While it's uploading, you can fill in the essential details. This ensures that your video is set up and ready to go. Now let's add a thumbnail. Scroll down to the thumbnail section and here you'll see a new option called test and compare. Click on it and it'll let you upload up to three thumbnails at once for testing. If you already have your thumbnails, that's great. Just click on the plus button to upload them one by one. But if you want to create a thumbnail that stands out and keeps viewers hooked, you can do it easily with the AI tool that our team created. All you need to do is just select the thumbnail style you want, then simply enter the title of your video and click generate. And in seconds, you'll get a stunning thumbnail designed specifically for your video. Download it and you're ready to go. So if you want to check out this tool, the link is given in the description. All right, once you've got the thumbnails ready, let's upload them. In the test and compare section, click on the plus button to upload the thumbnails you've created. And once it is finished, click done to save your sections. If there are any additional details to include like tags, you can add them now. Then keep clicking next until you reach the visibility section. Now here you need to note something very important. Make sure your video is set to public. Also please note that this feature won't work for videos marked as private, made for kids or mature content. Once everything is set, click publish and YouTube will automatically begin testing your thumbnails, showing them to different viewers to collect data on which one performs the best. And that's it. Your video is live and the thumbnail test is officially running. Depending on your audience size and how different your thumbnails are, the testing period will take anywhere around from few days to a couple of weeks. So be patient and we'll check back and see how it performed. All right, it's been three days since our test has been running. So it's time to head back to YouTube studio and check out how our thumbnails perform. So let's go back to the content tab and find the video that we tested. Click on the edit icon to open up the settings. And here we can see the status that says results are ready. Click on the three dots in the corner again and select view test report. Now in the test report, you will see exactly how each thumbnail performed based on the watch time. If one thumbnail clearly pulled ahead, YouTube will label it as the winner and automatically set it as the default thumbnail for your video. 
but if a thumbnail only did slightly better than others you will see it marked as preferred either way youtube gives us valuable insights into which thumbnail best captured the attention and kept viewers engaged if there's no clear winner don't worry it might be because the thumbnails are too similar or the video didn't get enough impressions during the test period in that case youtube will keep your original thumbnail as the default you can always go back try new designs and run another test to keep experimenting whether we've got a winner a preferred thumbnail or just some interesting results we can always manually select the thumbnail we think works best now that you know how to use the test and compare feature for our videos next let's look at how we can set up the test and compare feature for our existing videos to run the test on existing videos just head over to your youtube studio dashboard and go to the content tab find the video that you want to test the thumbnails on and tap on the edit icon and hover over the current thumbnail then click on the three dots and click test and compare here you'll see the current thumbnail and you can upload two additional thumbnails to test against it just like we did before click on the plus button and add the alternative thumbnails and youtube will take it from there it will now show these thumbnails to different viewers and gather the engagement data to see the results like we did before you can go to the video and check the test report all right so there we have it with the test and compare you can now optimize both new and existing videos helping your content perform at its best so that's it guys by using youtube's thumbnail test and compare feature you'll be making smarter data driven choices to maximize engagement and boost your watch time before you wrap up i want to tell you about two fantastic tools that can help you elevate your content creation game first there's gravity right the ai writing assistant that can help you craft compelling video descriptions and generate fantastic thumbnails for your videos and then webspace kit the user friendly web hosting platform that can help you build a professional website to complement your youtube channel these tools can really help you streamline your content creation process and boost your online presence all right now if you want to create thumbnails with your own face like these i've made a video where i'll show you how to do it entirely using ai you can check it out right here and as always if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and tap on the bell icon for more tips and tricks to grow your channel thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video until then take care bye bye